Hello, hi, my name is Jess Marie. Welcome to yesterday's Coffee Grounds, where it is morning time. My voice is a little bit raspy. That's just the way she is, first thing in the morning. But you know what? I got my warm beverage. We're good to go. Do I ever film without a beverage? No, always gotta be drinking something. Um, I got my water down there too, but it's way too far to reach. So she's down there. She looking pretty, oh. <laughs> Sometimes when I start filming, I'm like, who is this human who's coming out of me right now? I don't know. I don't know who she is, but thank you for showing up today. Speaking of showing up, I've been really proud. I've taken a couple days off to rest a little bit more since we have been moving with a toddler. It's just so much going on that my, my mind and my body have just been so tired trying to organize things. And like still, the house is kind of... A mess of the show. Like still, we got kind of stuff hanging out. So that's just the way that it's going to be right now. But I'm really happy. I woke up at seven this morning and I was very confused because my alarm was going off and I'm like, who's calling me? I'm, I'm not even awake. Who's calling me? I'm like, oh girl, you set an alarm. Girl, get your ass up. So got up, poured myself a cup of coffee, drank water before I had my coffee. It's super important some movement in my life doesn't matter what you do for movement just do a little bit of movement in the morning just to loosen up the joints get the blood flowing get the the joints lubricated like just do something and 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 wake in the mind dancing dancing first thing in the morning like listening to a song and then listening to your song you know that song you know that song when it comes on you're like well it's gonna be a good day because ain't nobody going to cry today <laughs> yeah nappy roots is it nappy roots i don't know i don't know music so i just know it's a fun song so you just need something to like be able to work your way loosen the shoulders lo loosen the wrists loosen the hips you know just do something do something and tell yourself you're a badass you're gonna get the some things accomplished today and if you need to, write a short little list, whatever it is, even if you're working, even if you're doing your job, where it's like, I'm going to make one person laugh today. I'm going to make one person smile who doesn't normally smile. Set little goals like that. And sometimes you can't complete them, but you can try your darnest to be able to get that done, right? So uh, this morning, I, because I was up pretty late last night, just plotting of what I want to do uh since we have been moving i've just kind of been like stressed about money a little bit and i usually don't get stressed out about these kinds of things i'm like money comes and goes it's just the way that it is but right now unfortunately because money rules our world we live in it which is fine i don't i don't have a problem with a capitalist society but sometimes it's really difficult to live in <laughs> of course it is because things are so expensive but when there is so much money floating around even if the the, the value of money is uh, there's no gold backing it. There's no, there's nothing behind the money, the dollar. So it's like, really, there's not, there's not a lot of money floating around, but there's still a high amount of, of money. We'll just say. So I am plotting how I am going to pay for school, pay for this new phone, dad, uh, pay for this new phone, um, pay for like basic groceries and stuff like that and and um continue my exercise program and I have all these things so I actually have a whiteboard and if you don't like talking about money I don't know maybe this isn't the video for you but I just want to do like a quick little brain plot uh, <laughs> I actually went and got this sharpie just for this so so my courses, both my courses that I want to take, they're $2,000. A laptop is approximately, I don't know, I don't want to get the cheapest, but I don't want to spend over 700 bucks. So it's like $600. But I was thinking if I were to do childcare, if I were to do childcare um, five days a week, uh, oh, that's going to be backwards for you guys. So sorry. Five days a week at $15. It's $120 um, times that by five. So $120 times it by five days equals 600 
but I, I would have a hard time paying $600 for childcare a week because then um, times that, that's $2,400. Yeah, $2,400 a month on childcare. So I thought, well, maybe I'll do a flat rate of $500 because that's still $2,000, which is our rent. You know, this is how much we make in rent. $2,000 a month. And like, that's me working for $12.50 an hour. So, is that, is that $12.50? Well, $12. Is that, that looks like a five, that's a two. This way it looks like a two. There we go. Twelve fifty, twelve fifty an hour. So I think I could do that. I think um, that would be a lot, and I don't know if I I would feel okay. You know, like I already feel like fifteen dollars on the low end, and that's less than minimum wage. But I also don't feel right about asking somebody to give. Let's say it's twenty, oh, twenty four hundred dollars a month to me. I don't think I would feel right about that. So let's just say I have $2,000 a month. So I am, that would be, okay, where's my little kid? Okay, so if we're doing eight hours a week, let's do eight hours. Plus I have another job. So that's 10 hours a week. Oh no, 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 this is 40, sorry. 40 hours. 10 hours so it's 50 hours of work a week so i it's not um it's a self-paced course that i'm taking so i can pick and choose my hours of what i want um so i would ideally i would be studying at night so i would only actually have if I wanted to keep weekends off, I would have three nights to study now because I don't know what the work is going to be like. I don't know how much is, is that gonna be. So nonetheless, I guess what I'm trying to say here is I have, so let's take my 50 hours of work a week plus let's do at least one hour study every night plus one hour night study and then um cooking house tending and then we also have like i'm just kind of going over basic things so like this is a, a, like the money is a non-negotiable right now. I need to, to work more anyways. And it just makes sense. Instead of me paying for childcare to work, um, why not offer to, to have another little person with leave on all the time and stress my brain out. I'm ready for it. But basically, um, oh, house tending, um, sorry, exercise, family, family time, me time. Okay, so this is just like basic. If we have our little, I don't know, you draw a wheel, you have all your little things, like how much time do you dedicate to each thing? Basically, what I'm saying is I am, I am already kind of like, how the fudge am I going to do this? Because it's really important for me to, to do these two courses. It's really important for me. But am I going to mentally be able to accomplish this? If I wake up, let's say I'm waking up at, at six in the morning so that I can do my journaling, do my exercise, uh, be able to prime myself, have my me time. That's my me time that we're referring to right here. So have that me time in the morning and then um, whenever Levon wakes up, spend time with him, have time him and I together, have a, another human. And then that's like, I guess throughout the day, it's, it's house tending, cooking and stuff like that, trying to balance all those things. And, um, I don't know, where do I, where do I fit in the family time? That's one. That's a tough one. 
<clears throat> that's where I'm like, maybe I just study three nights a week. I work two, study three nights. And then I guess all this, I'm just trying to say that I'm trying to adapt and overcome because I'm not even here yet. I'm not even registered for the courses yet because I don't have the money for it. I don't have the fucking money. So um, I guess I'm just trying to figure it out. And this is step number one of trying to figure it out. So I am Jess and I <laughs> am doing the best that I can and trying to adapt and overcome, adapt and overcome. So this isn't even it. I don't even have friends up there. I don't have um, taking a poo. <laughs> So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Just know that you're not the only one going through whatever you're going through. Maybe someone else is going through this. I don't know. This is where I'm at. So thank you so much if you listen. This is a boring one, but I feel like it's very important in the process of my journey. So thank you so much. My name is Jess. Aw, thank you if you watched. Bye.